dun 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 He's a lo-fi horror guy. Yeah, he's kind of a guy, but he is so lo-fi, lo-fi horror guy. Yeah. Lo-fi horror guy has been recorded in front of a live studio audience. Hey, and three, two, one. What is going on, everybody? It's your boy, the Lo-fi horror guy. Uh, today, I am going to be breaking down my review of 1988's remake on the blob um as well as five horror shorts you can check out right now on youtube um i may post the links within this video i may uh you know give a little more information in the description uh down below for the video um for the the, the movies um excuse me but first off we're going to dig right into 1988's the blob so good. Uh, directed by Chuck Russell. Actually, Frank Darabont was one of the fellas, uh, along with Chuck Russell, that wrote the screenplay for this bad boy. This is actually my DVD copy of it. There is a super, super sick uh, Scream Factory release of it on Blu-ray that I have not picked up yet that I need to, um, but for right now... This is just my old, you know, my old DVD copy, my old, what is this, TriStar copy. Um, I went and wanted to watch it last night, wanted to slap it on. If you can see right up here is my old school V58, uh, I think it's 58, the original Blob um, poster right up there. Up there. So, uh, without further ado, boom, the Blob. First off, in watching this again, and this is a little embarrassing to say because I've probably seen this movie ten times, um... I did not realize that Kevin Dillon is the main dude <laughs> in this movie. My man with the the sick uh, uh, motorcycle wielding skills, uh, uh, the 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 ice uh, snow driving uh, wielding skills. My dude, I, I had no idea that it was Kevin Dillon. Uh, it was so crazy, and then it was so funny because. I go back and I listen to the voice and I'm just like, how did I not see that? So first off, this is a TriStar DVD copy of this, Shabana Lama. Um, we've got the little insert there. We've got the chapter selections, which I, I like very much that they, you know, included a little, you know, a little artwork into it. They put a little something, something into it. Um, then you got the old, the old back art, the side fart. Um, Chuck Russell's The Blob. I thought it was an awesome remake. Uh, the practical effects, I guess, would be one of the main attributes that I would give to the movie. Uh, I absolutely loved the the kills from The Blob on the people. The ending I thought was really, really cool where, you know, it's this gigantic thing that's, you know, g going and blubbering all around um, the... Uh, the, this down the down the street there and you know and people are trying to run out of the way and it slams its big old nasty slobbery self over them and picks them back up and you know and and and, and sucks them within their body there um the blob is super cool uh i i you know uh, kevin dillon does really really well everybody that acts and it's really really good uh the girl's dad i recognize from something i couldn't remember i think the one thing I recognized was from Sandlot, but I don't think that's the main thing that I'm thinking of. There's got to be something else that's at the tip of my tongue. Help me out. Comment below. Let me know what he's from. Um, but uh, overall, you know, typically on Letterboxd, I, I give out of a five. Um, and I would give the, the remake of The Blob uh, probably a 4.1 out of five um, Kevin Dillon motorcycle skills uh you heard it first here 4.1 out of 5 for the blob um standout scenes for me if you haven't seen this uh i would certainly cut off the video now because it'll be a little bit of a spoiler um and if you haven't seen this shame on you as well but um standout scenes for me i absolutely loved um, and I don't think this is anything a whole lot of people talk about but i absolutely loved the very end finale scene where she goes to light or, or, or do something with a bomb. Maybe she lights the, the fuse or she pulls a pin or something, but she goes to jump off this truck and she just goes and lands flat on her face. Now, uh, if you don't know anything about your boy, the lo-fi horror guy, understand that people falling and or hitting their heads or hitting their faces on something, your boy's gonna die. At some point, I will ask you if you're okay, but 
I am gonna die laughing. I promise you that. Uh, it's just a it's just a, a known fact about your boy, the lo-fi horror guy. So that happening is absolutely one of my favorite things, and ho always has been one of my favorite things. Um, but the whole scene where uh, another part of the, the the whole scene where the guy is trying to be the pervert in the car and he's trying to load up his his girl so he can take advantage of her and uh, you know pull a Harvey Weinstein uh, you know it, it's kind of funny because all of a sudden he's trying to unbutton her blouse and all this and and he goes to reach down to touch her boob and and the thing she sucks him in he doesn't realize that she's part of the blob um, but a very funny part to that I love it when he goes to open up his trunk and there's just the bar back there of any sort of spirit you would uh, think of absolutely hilarious <laughs> i i, I love i loved it so um but overall like i say uh i would definitely give this bad boy a 4.1 out of 5 i love it uh 1988's chuck russell's the blobs uh check it out if you have not i absolutely recommend it for sure lo-fi horror guy gives that one two thumbs up um so other than that, the latter half of this video was going to be, I was going to share with you guys five short horror movies that you should check out on YouTube right now that are currently available. You can go ahead and you can search them. Uh, I will uh, put the names of the titles, maybe the links to the videos uh, in my description. Um, but the first one, I'm going to make it short and sweet. Uh, first short is called Tuck Me In. It rings in at one minute one second uh, basically it is just this little kid that's in bed and he says you know uh, dad there's a monster under my bed or there's something under my bed and uh, I, I don't want to give it away it's one minute and one second but the first time I watched this it literally had goosebumps on my arms it, it was just very uncomfortable unease creepy kids and horror that's all i can say okay go watch it tuck me in that's the first short that i want you to go and watch the second short is a movie called the birch uh this bad boy was in it like maybe 16 minutes 13 minutes something like that um it's called the birch uh basically this kid i think this takes place in like the uk um but uh, kids getting bullied and you know he goes home with a black eye and I think it's his possibly his mom his grandma laying in her deathbed and says you know um, when I'm gone you know keep this book here and and uh, this book will protect you she will protect you or whatever and so he reads this book and it's basically uh, this tree monster that comes and um, I'm gonna end it there. I'm not gonna do spoilers, okay? You know what I'm saying? I want you to go and watch it and tell me, your boy, the lo-fi horror guy, what you think of him. Um, but that second story is called The Birch. Go check that bad boy out right now. Story number three, or short number three, I should say, uh, is a movie called Don't Move. In the first couple of seconds of this bad boy, you see where it says, five must die, one must live. Um, and basically it's another creature story it's another creature movie and uh i really dug it i dug the effects in this one um the ending i can say there is a a kill that is like nuts even in any movies that i've seen is absolutely fucking wild um so the ending of this bad boy alone uh has me recommend you to watch the third short that i have recommended don't move don't move. Okay. Uh, <laughs> so the fourth one is going to be a uh, short called Alexia. I believe this was from a uh, Argentinian, Argentinian, Argentonian, no, Argent, from Argentina. Uh, and uh, basically it's about this guy who it's through Facebook. Um, you know, he's got his Facebook profile pulled up. He's talking to his girlfriend. You know, he's talking about how he's really bummed out because it's his ex-girlfriend's birthday. Um, she apparently had killed herself uh, some sort of way. Didn't really get into details, but then all of a sudden she starts haunting him through uh, her through her her Facebook profile. Um, so. It wasn't the best of all of these, but I definitely thought there were some some moments there where, for it being a amateur, you know, feature, um, definitely worth a shout. So, uh, the fourth story is a movie slash short called Alexia. Now, the fifth one, this one, just so I can tell you, I'm gonna full on say right now, uh, parental discretion is advised. Uh, 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 
you know, if, if you're bothered by by things that are just too taboo to even, uh, you know, want to bother with, don't 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 watch it. Um, but it is it is a very uncomfortable, uh, not to say horror by any means, but in the manner of what the movie, the short is about, it is very uncomfortable and very unnerving. It is a short that was written and directed by uh, Ari Aster. It's actually his first ever short. It is a short called The Strange Things About the Johnsons. Um, basically, once Ari Aster was just about done with film school, uh, himself and the main one of the main actors in the in the short uh, Brandon Greenhouse um, they were in kind of a meeting and they were talking about you know like movie ideas and different things and they started bringing up the topic of like what's the most taboo thing that you can think of that most people wouldn't want to even touch and um, I'm just going to tell you nothing about this I'm going to tell you it is called The Strange Things About the Johnsons. And, um, you know, if you watch it and you, you get all messed up and, and your, your brain is fired and you want to beat the shit out of me because I recommended it, um, don't watch it. But it is absolutely wild. Um, it is super, super uncomfortable and uh, just definitely a wild, uh, a wild ride. Um, it's understood that once you watch it, just some of the... Uh, directing you know you can kind of get the feel of like hereditary and midsummer and you know and how there's kind of like the close-ups on uh the main fellow's name is billy mayo i believe um he his eyes in this it's almost like it's like a like a jordan peele like his eyes are just so uh so sad they're they're so you know emotion filled even without saying anything even without doing anything uh you just feel absolutely terrible uh for his character he's just uh just oh god i can't say enough about it i gotta stop though um ari aster's first ever feature which is a feature uh, short short film called the strange things about the johnsons that's the fifth short story i'm going to recommend to you guys to go and watch right now so we have tuck me in tuck me in is the first uh the birch is the second don't move is the third short story alexia is the fourth and the strange things about the johnsons is the fifth um go and check those out those are all available on youtube <laughs> right now in the meantime it's your boy the lo-fi horror guy Give me a ding, give me a dong, give me a bing, give me a bong, give me a like, give me a share. If you don't, I do not care at the end of the day. I just want you to enjoy the blob. Uh, I just want you to enjoy Kevin Dillon. I just want you to enjoy some some uh, some 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 short films, some short horror movies. Um, I'm going to post this on my Instagram uh, as well as YouTube. I want you guys to tell me what short movies, what short horror movies that I need to be watching. Uh, maybe what short f horror films uh, short films in general do I need to be watching uh, do I need to be put up on let me know uh, it's your doggy the lo-fi horror guy you give me a good enough recommendation I might do another video and uh, shout you out in it along with uh, giving uh, my thoughts on the short movie so in the meantime I'm gonna slap you with the old three two one no nah.